I think the the bike as a as an object is a sculpture, and then riding the bike is like the one of the most kind of pure kind of forms of performance. And then you put it all together, and it looks like a, a lifetime of you know of inspiration. My first memories of riding a bike are pretty dear to me, and so they're really kind of etched into my heart um, pretty seriously. The very first time I remember was actually on a trike with my brother in uh, far northern New South Wales, and the only place we could ride these trikes was on this big kind of tank, a, a concrete sort of circle tank, which I later found out was the septic tank. We couldn't smell the, the tank because we were too busy having fun on tricycles just riding around and around and around for hours and as a kid uh, I remember being given this oversized stingray frame it was this black frame before we could access BMX frames at the time and so I was really a little kid on a much bigger frame and that didn't matter to me because it was my first bike and this bike represented freedom for me straight up I remember even as a very young child putting playing cards on the back of the bike with pegs to kind of simulate the sound of a motorcycle. That was, that was really creative and we all used to do that kind of stuff. What's going on now in terms of like uh, riding for, for a new generation, maybe some things have changed, you know, because I remember having to kind of make a lot of stuff up, like getting the cards out and putting them in the spokes and. You know, like there, there was all kinds of weird things, spoky dokies and things that would kind of generate noise to make. Uh, you know, it, it was a very creative space. And I think that it's still a creative space. It always will be because it has that connection to freedom. And it's also kids just doing what they want to do. I think writing as a kind of creative process is interesting because I, I remember once uh, this uh, great artist, Paul Clay, said that for him, Drawing was like taking a, a line for a walk. And uh, for me, drawing could be almost like taking a line for a ride. You can get a lot further riding than walking. I'm not trying to sort of say that riding is better than walking. It's just that I love how powerful riding is. I think there's a really big connection between what I do as an artist and, and my experience as a bike rider. They're really connected in terms of this idea of being totally inspirational. The idea of having this thing that's connected to my body, that's, it's, you know, it's not too small as to be like a, a prosthetic, like say a skateboard. It's about the size of my body and I'm over the top of it like, like I am with a horse or, you know, it's really a unique thing. This, it, it, it's even the proportions of the bike to the body, the way that the, the bike kind of responds to every single movement that the body makes in terms of like balancing and counterbalance. It, but then also I think that the decisions that you make on a bicycle can be so open, there's so many possibilities that that automatically informs artwork or the, the formulation or dreaming or the kind of creation of a work. In fact, it, at certain points in my work as an artist, I've just brought bicycles directly into the studio uh, and they've formed the artwork themselves. And you know, I even look at the history of artists doing that kind of stuff. One really famous example is uh, Marcel Duchamp's 1913 bicycle wheel. And for a whole generation of artists, um, well, not even a whole generation, a whole decades of artists have always been obsessed with that sculpture for many reasons but especially if you're a writer you look at that and think wow how does that work how does that bicycle wheel connected to a stool make me feel can i ride it that's the first thing i thought it looks like a dysfunctional artwork and it is it's definitely not a bicycle anymore it's a stool bike but can you ride it it's a kind of a challenge that i ask myself as an artist and I feel like I'm a part of a lot of different creative fields and a lot of, you know, work that I respond to, I can kind of see where the inspiration comes from and often it's bicycles.